Kim Jong-un is the supreme leader of North Korea. He assumed the role in 2011 and has ruled for over a decade. He is the second child of Kim Jong-il, who was the second supreme leader of North Korea and ruled between 1994 and 2011. He only emerged as a public figure a year before the death of his father, Kim Jong-il, and had to move quickly to establish control over the country his father had ruled for 17 years. He proved ruthless in knocking off rivals and consulting power. There were a lot of expectations and a lot of doubts about who he was, Town said. His early moves were geared toward trying to establish his own power base. Kim murdered his uncle, Jang Song-thek, executed about a year after coming into power. According to the South Korean intelligence service, North Korea has strict laws about what you can bring into the country. It's illegal to bring in religious, pornographic or political items. Declare all published material and electronic devices when you arrive. It's also illegal to knowingly or unknowingly possess items that breach North Korean law. More recently, he is suspected by South Korea's government of ordering the killing of his exiled half-brother, Kim Jong-nam a potential rival who was poisoned with a toxic nerve agent in Malaysia in February. Kim also executed five senior government officials with anti-aircraft guns, according to the government here. In another sign of the his cruelty, the regime imprisoned Otto Warmbier, a visiting U.S. college student, allegedly for stealing a propaganda poster in a hotel in the North Korean capital Pyongyang. He served 18 months behind bars before being returned to the United States in a comatose state. He died a week later. 3A Americans are still held by North Korea, which also operates brutal forced labor camps where citizens are imprisoned. While solidifying his power, Kim has liberalized the economy and broadened his support in a country plagued by a deadly famine in the 1990s. Despite international sanctions aimed at squeezing the regime into ending its nuclear weapons program, new buildings are going up in Pyongyang. More cars are on the streets, and luxury goods are available in some stores. Apartments are selling for more than $100,000, a dramatic price increase for an impoverished country, said Moon Chung-in, an advisor to South Korean President Moon Jae-in. The economy grew 3.9% last year over the previous year, the largest increase since 1999, according to South Korea's central bank. About 90% of North Korea's trade is with China, but North Korea has also engaged in illicit weapons sales in Africa and elsewhere in defiance of sanctions, according to the United Nations. Shops in Pyongyang now carry flat-screen televisions and luxury brands. Still, it's nothing like the prosperity 120 miles to the south in Seoul, the bustling, economically vibrant capital of South Korea. The average annual income in North Korea is $1,300, compared to $28,000 in South Korea and $56,000 in the United States. Still, the income figure represents a major improvement for North Korea, where citizens have long lived with economic deprivation under a state-controlled system. Kim hasn't removed regulations that prohibit free markets, but his government has looked the other way in many cases, allowing small businesses to operate independently and a small property market to emerge. Kim's father experimented with liberalizing the economy, but usually backtracked, said Kent Boydston an analyst at the Peterson Institute for International Economics. His son seems more committed to at least modest reforms. The changes have helped make him more popular, particularly among younger North Koreans, Moon Chung-in said. North Korea is very, very stable, he said. Kim Jong-un has consolidated powerfully. This story was based on reporting conducted on a trip to South Korea sponsored by the East-West Center the Korea Press Foundation and the Pacific Century Institute.